In this video, we're gonna be going over how to use the import XML function to web scrape in Google Sheets. Using the import XML function has allowed me to create some of my portfolio trackers and stock valuation spreadsheets like the ones you see here. So let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna learn how to web scrape using the import XML function. And then we're gonna learn how to automate the web scraping process using import XML. So you can see the very first thing that we wanna do is we wanna pull in data from Wikipedia and you can see we're currently looking at Kobe Bryant's Wikipedia page. And if I scroll down, the data that we wanna pull into our spreadsheet is what number Kobe Bryant wore on his jersey, which was eight and 24. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna jump back over to our spreadsheet and right here is where I'm gonna perform the import XML function. So in order to do this, we're gonna put an equal sign and we're just gonna type out import XML. And you can see it's listing the function right here. So we're gonna import data from structured data online. And we're gonna use an open parentheses. And the very first thing that we need to do is we're gonna jump back over to Wikipedia. And what we're gonna do is we are gonna copy the URL. And so what I'm gonna do, I know you can't see me, is I'm gonna come up here. I'm gonna click on the URL and copy it. Now I'm gonna jump back over to my spreadsheet. And what I'm gonna do is in quotations, all I'm gonna do is copy and paste the URL, which you can see right here, wikipedia.org slash wiki slash Kobe Bryant. And so I'm gonna end that with quotations. And so now we have the first part of our function. There's actually only one more part. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a comma. And now we're gonna jump back over to wikipedia.com. And if we scroll down, Again, here's the data that we wanna pull in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my mouse over this and I'm gonna double click. And if I come down here, you can see I'm gonna have the option to inspect. I'm gonna click right here on inspect. And as I hover my mouse over this HTML code, you can see it's highlighting different things on my screen. So you can see, for example, if I put my mouse right here, it's highlighting the data that we want. And so in this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna double click on this line of code right here. And if I come down here to copy, you can see it's gonna give me the option to copy full XPath. And that's what I'm gonna click right there. And so let's jump back over to our spreadsheet and we're gonna open up some quotations again. And now I'm just gonna paste in that full XPath that we just copied, which you can see right here. And I'm gonna close this off with quotations and parentheses. So that's the two parts you need for our import XML function. We have the URL and then we have the full XPath. And so when I hit enter, you can see we now have the numbers that Kobe Bryant listed. So let's go ahead and confirm that it pulled properly. We can see his numbers were eight and 24 and our spreadsheet is correctly showing eight and 24. So that's example number one, but let's go ahead and do another example using finance data. And for this example, we're gonna be pulling the live stock price for Microsoft Corporation. So you can see right here, their current price is $310.88. And this is what we wanna pull into our spreadsheet. So if we jump back over to our spreadsheet, we're gonna do the same thing to start out. We're gonna type an equal sign and we wanna use the import XML function right here. We'll have an open parentheses. Let's jump back over to Yahoo Finance and we wanna come up here and copy the URL. And once we've done that, we'll add quotations and paste this into our spreadsheet. So that's the first part of pulling this into Google Sheets. We'll then add a comma. And if we jump back over to Yahoo Finance, we now need to pull the XPath in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my cursor over the stock price here. I'm gonna double click and click on inspect. And now that this data has pulled in, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move my cursor around and I can see it's now highlighting the stock price when I put my cursor on this code. So this is the code that we need to pull into our spreadsheet. So I'm gonna go ahead and double click on this. And we'll come here to copy and we're gonna click copy full XPath. And now that I've copied the full XPath, we'll jump back over to our spreadsheet. We'll put in quotations. We'll paste in the XPath. You can see it's a pretty long code here close the quotations, close the parentheses, and hit enter. And you can see we've now pulled Yahoo's, or excuse me, Microsoft stock price from yahoofinance.com, 
$310.88. And so the final thing we need to go over is how to automate the web scraping process. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and copy this entire formula that we just created. And we'll jump over to this tab. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste in this formula here. And so essentially what we wanna be able to do is we want whatever stock is listed here. So for example, let's say we list Apple, we want their stock price to show up right here. So currently we have Microsoft listed and we have Microsoft stock price right here listed. But if I were to change this, the stock price doesn't update because it's hard coded. So what we can actually do is we can change the URL that's listed and have it refer to the stock listed right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually jump in to our URL right here. And I'm gonna delete the data all the way up to where it lists Microsoft right here. And once I've done that, I'm gonna jump out of the quotations and we're gonna add on to this URL. And in order to do this, we're gonna add an and sign. And then what we need to do is list the cell that has our stock listed. And for me in this spreadsheet, that is cell F3. And so when I hit enter right here, you can see this just updated to Apple stock price. So if we go to Yahoo Finance and we'll close out of this code here and we type in Apple, we can see their stock price is 175. And if we look at our spreadsheet, you can see it's showing 175. So let's just mess with this to make sure it's working correctly. So let's say we wanna look at Tesla stock price. I'll type in TSLA and hit enter. And you can see our spreadsheet is now automatically pulling in the live stock prices for each of these companies using our import XML function. So you can see why this is such a powerful function and why I use it to create all of my spreadsheets in Google Sheets. So thank you guys so much for watching this video on how to web scrape in Google Sheets using the import XML function. If you'd like to be able to download any of my spreadsheets, such as my portfolio trackers or my stock valuation spreadsheets, then you can head over to my Patreon page at the link in the description. So that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video and please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.